they knew the risk that they, they were putting her in. And, uh, and I think that they need to be held accountable. An East County father demanding justice after a 60 year old daughter was discovered dead from a suspected fentanyl overdose. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, the body of his daughter was identified more than eight months after she was found. She had the kindest heart, the sweetest smile, a free spirited, go up and brighten the sun's day. On a morning in late February, 16 year old Cassidy Hopwood walked out of her grandma's home in El Cajon and disappeared. Her father, Garen Hopwood. It was so scary thinking of all the things that could be going on. Loved ones filed a missing persons report with El Cajon police and searched for Cassidy, who had run away last year for a week. In March, weeks after Cassidy disappeared, her body was found behind a strip mall along El Cajon Boulevard. La Mesa police say there was no identifying information, and so she remained unidentified in the morgue. So nine months later, Hopwood says authorities asked for dental records. Soon after, the medical examiner's office called loved ones and confirmed. I couldn't stop crying. It was just a part of me's gone. Cassidy had died. It's the worst feeling you can imagine. It's something that a parent should never have to go through. Hopwood says La Mesa police spoke to him about the delay in identifying her. They were very apologetic. They had let us know that there were steps that, that should have been taken that maybe weren't. As for the cause of Cassidy's death, this from the ME's office. There was paraphernalia found at the scene and that it was a fentanyl overdose. Hopwood says in the past few years, drug paraphernalia had been found in Cassidy's room. He brought her to a treatment program last year, but Cassidy refused to stay. She's like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go. And and the lady said that, that they can't force him. More than a year later, Cassidy would die from an overdose. Police and Hopwood. And I think that they need to be held accountable. Now in search of the person who supplied the fentanyl. If this person is a stop, that means more people are going to die. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. La Mesa police tell us they contacted Cassidy's family as soon as the ME's office confirmed her identity nearly two weeks ago. Anyone with information on the case is asked to call La Mesa police or Crime Stoppers.